A Star Command exploration vessel nicknamed the Turnip changes course to investigate signs of life on the unknown world Tani Prime. Woken from hibernation, Space Ranger Buzz Lightyear and his commanding officer and best friend Alicia Hawthorne scout the landing site, accompanied by rookie Feathering Hampston. Attacked by hostile lifeforms, they attempt to take off, but the turnip's escape trajectory is compromised by Buzz, who inadvertently causes the station to crash, despite his best efforts. Blaming himself for failing their escape and stranding the crew, Buzz volunteers as the test pilot for the hyperspace fuel crystal they will need to develop to return home. One year later, the crew constructed a new colony to conduct repairs. Buzz's disastrous first test flight is compounded by the effects of time dilation. For the four minutes he spent in flight, four years have passed on Tani Prime. Alicia shares that she is now engaged to a scientist named Kiko, whom she met three years previously. She gifts Buzz Socks, an AI robot therapist, with the shape and programming behaviors of a cat. Alicia instructs Buzz to wait on testing new crystal mixtures until they find another way to return the crew home, but Buzz decides to take the initiative and conduct further tests, with Alicia's reluctant approval. After a dozen failed tests, Buzz returns from his last flight to discover that Alicia has died of old age. She leaves a recording for him where she shares her happiness and introduces him to her small granddaughter, Izzy Hawthorne. Her successor, Commander Cal Burnside, informs Buzz that the colony has given up attempting to regain lightspeed capability and has decided to live on the planet, relying on a laser shield to protect the colony from outside indigenous hostels. Sox reveals he has spent the last six decades calculating a stable formula for the hypercrystal. When Star Command sends personnel to decommission Sox, Buzz escapes with him and defies Burnside's orders to conduct one final test. With Sox's help, Buzz is able to test the new mixture and achieves hyperspeed. However, he skips another 22 years into the future, or he meets a grown-up Izzy. She explains that recently, an army of robots invaded Tani Prime and are attempting to enter the colony, which is currently being protected by Burnside's laser shield. She and a group of cadets, M.O. and Darby, intend to destroy a large cruiser that the robots descend from. After an encounter with one of the robots, Buzz witnesses firsthand the group's incompetence in combat and vows to finish the mission himself. Despite his attempts to work alone, the group inadvertently joins him on the mission. During an escape from a nest of hostile bugs that they inadvertently disturb, 
The group departs in a ship which is then subsequently shot down by the leader of the robots named Zerg. After investigating a nearby mining facility to find a small energy coil that will help them restore power to the ship, Buzz begins to understand the value of relying on other people for help, and he allows Izzy, M.O., and Darby to join him and Sox in finishing the mission. However, Zerg intervenes, and despite the group being able to escape from him and his robots, the Hyper Crystal is lost. Zerg then captures Buzz and takes him aboard the cruiser, where he reveals himself to be an older version of Buzz from an alternate future timeline, which split upon Lightyear's return to the planet after the successful hyperspace test. Without the robot army to detain them, soldiers from the colony attempted to arrest Buzz under Burnside's orders, forcing Buzz to flee into space. Alternate Buzz and Sox escaped at full speed and, via time dilation, flew hundreds of years into the far future, where he encountered extremely advanced technology. He spent 50 years developing a way to travel back in time to prevent the turnip from ever landing on Tani Prime and avoid stranding the ship upon the planet. Having worn out his own crystal through time travel and excessive usage, old Buzz, called B, Zerg by the robots, needs a fresh crystal to power his ship and complete his mission, so he requests it from his younger self. Realizing this would erase Alicia and Kiko's life together, along with Izzy, present-day, younger, Buzz refuses. In his attempts to forcibly use the crystal himself, Zerg is incapacitated by an alternate timeline Sox who leads Buzz to the ship's control room to initiate a self-destruct sequence before being crushed by an enraged Zerg. After a chaotic assault on the cruiser, Buzz and his team manage to escape the ship before it detonates. On their return back to the planet via a crash landing, Buzz's ship is attacked by Zerg once again, who then takes the Hyper Crystal for himself. Buzz is forced to destroy the Hyper Crystal, causing an explosion that seemingly kills Zerg, and he is able to subsequently save his team from crashing onto the planet's surface with their help. With the fuel gone, Buzz finally accepts Tani Prime as his home. Burnside arrests Buzz, Izzy, M.O., and Darby with the intention of detaining them, but relents in light of Buzz's bravery against the robot armada. Allowed to revive the Space Ranger Corps, Buzz unexpectedly selects Izzy, M.O., Darby, and Sox as his trainees. With the new Hyper Crystal created using the computer left behind during the mutiny, Buzz and his team embark on a new adventure. In a post credit scene, Zerg is revealed to have survived. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to be notified of future videos. Till the next one, bye.